Well, moving on with our project on the Binary Options Academy, with, of course, what is the Elliott Ways. And while on the first part we laid down the rules or the grounds for the theoretical thing, five-way structure, corrected with, th um, corrected with a three-way structure, of course, it should be remembered that um, each and every leg here represent a subdivision of a move on a different cycle or of something of a bigger degree. Uh, Elliott Waves theory or waves under the Elliott Waves theory are moving with uh, in cycles like super cycles then you have a lower cycle then even a lower one and so on and so forth so uh, try all the time to understand the place where you are in and uh, the rules to be respected on that specific moment now if you look here on the euro on the grabit and pound us dollar from the move that started from the lows you see that the move here at the lows ends with the contract in trying and this is just an example because the theory is so vast that basically uh, cannot be um, treated in only only two um, two sessions here on our binary options academy we we'll pr probably will have more um, more analysis and more recordings based on the Elliott waves and how to count waves with uh, with the theory. Now, because this ends with a contracting triangle, it means that the move that starts from here or the move to the upside is um, or should be counted from here. Now, we said that here we have a possible first wave to be ended here, and this of a lower degree, as you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 needs to have a 5 way structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a 5 way structure. Then we have a second wave here in the form of a, the first in here, the first correction, X wave, the second correction. So our second wave would be a complex corrective wave. Most likely this one is being called the double 3 running. And the move that follows, or the move that uh, that uh, comes to the upside is an explosive move. It can only be a third way. Should be formed out of a five-way structure as well. And the five-way structure goes one, two, three, four, five. This is being called a third wave, an impulsive move with a first wave extension. And the first wave extension means that the second wave there needs to be the most time consuming. Well, it is the most time consuming. And then we have what? We need to have a corrective wave for the fourth wave. This is the corrective wave for the fourth wave. I would say either um, A, B, C or A, B, C. It doesn't really matter. And then, of course, the fifth wave to go to the upside in a five-way structure. And I would say that the fourth wave actually ends here. So in a five-way structure to have a fifth wave to the upside. And it would, this would be a one, two, three, four, five, or the first five-way structure. Normally, whenever you have such, um, such a structure, we will never know from the beginning of the move if this is going to be an impulsive move or not, if this is going to turn out to be a first wave extension or a third wave extension or a fifth wave extension. We, we don't know that. What we do know is that we want to go and buy call options every time. So after a corrective way, we're looking for a fiber structure. Every time price breaks the previous high in the first wave here, we want to go and buy call options. Expiration day. Well, expiration day needs to be given by the time frame that the pattern is being identified. It identify is the time, if the time frame is the one hour chart like it is here, it may be even end of day, depending on the moment. Uh, during the day when um, when the pattern or the um, impulsive move is identified. Also, I would like to um, buy call options every time market goes and breaks above th the third wave here. Now, put options on the other hand on such an impulsive move or on a five-way structure are difficult to uh, to be traded not necessarily that the market is not corrective, correcting, because markets are correcting most of the times, but uh, depending on the time frame as well, it's difficult to set the expiration date, as you never know when the market turns around and guns for the fifth wave. 
But what I would like to do all the time is to buy call options in such a move. And of course, if the impulsive move would be bearish, then I would like to buy put options, definitely. So I would like to buy call options there when the highs in the third wave are going to be broken. And then we need what? According to Elliott Waves, we need a three-way structure. Now, the name is generic, a three-way structure. What uh, should actually be being, uh, being, uh, told is the fact that this is a corrective move. It can be simple or, co or uh, complex. And the three-way structure means that the move is not, co is not impulsive. And that's it. Not the fact that vi virtually or literally we are going to have three ways. So this is, I would say, a complex corrective wave that goes A and the B like this and the C. Then to have an X wave or a connecting X wave or a move that just goes and makes um, probably around here, the X wave. And then to have another A and B. And C. A, B, C, X, A, B, C. And this will be the end of the corrective wave. So this correction here will correct, if you want, the five-way structure. This is, I would say, uh, just a bare introduction, or barely, uh, merely an introduction for what is the Elliott wave theory. Um, such a pattern or such a scenario that may be found, may be, may be uh, seen on the one-hour chart, it can be found on any other time frame. Personally, I don't recommend counting Elliott waves on a time frame lower than the one hour chart because you'll just, g you'll just get lost in details. Have a great day. This is fairbinaryoptions.com. We just completed the what is the Elliott Waves theory and how, to be, how can it be applied to the binary options trading here on our binary options academy project. Bye bye.